This video is brought to you by Skillshare. In this box right here, I have my first piano. I've never played piano before, so I'm going to set it up and try it out for the first time. Okay, so I got the piano all set up and ready to go. It is a digital piano with weighted keys, so it's supposed to mimic the feel of an actual piano, but I haven't played piano before really, so I don't really know what to expect, but yeah, let's just try it out. <laughs> I don't know how I'm supposed to play, really. I feel like everyone does that when they're playing piano, but that is actually a lot more difficult than I thought it would be. <laughs> kind of hurts my finger a little bit. <laughs> so I think just going is a C major scale, but yeah. We'll verify that. I don't know what I'm really doing with the technique on the piano right now because I haven't even watched any lessons yet. I don't know what to do when I run out of fingers, basically. So if I start with my pinky, kind of like crossing my fingers there, but I don't know what the proper technique is for playing scales like that, but I will have to figure that out. It is probably not just going with my pinky. <laughs> so I think this, is a power chord, just the first and the fifth in the C major scale. And yeah, just kind of know that from my guitar practicing. And then... That should just be a different octave of the same power chord. One of the reasons I actually got this piano is because I think it will help me a lot with my understanding of music theory and just learning more music theory in general. Even right now, just looking at it without knowing too much about it, it does feel like the notes are laid out in a more easily understandable way than on the guitar. And I feel like I'll be able to picture different concepts better. So yeah, I'm excited about that. I'm kind of cheating right now because I'm just playing the white notes, which are all in one scale, but I need to eventually incorporate the black keys in as well, but I'm not even sure how to properly play them. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Now I'm just going to look up some beginner lessons on YouTube and try to figure some basic things out. So I was correct in that this note right here next to these two black keys is a C and this one is middle C, which I guess is the most important note, at least according to this lesson. This is just so visual already. So yeah, we have the C here and it's always the one left of two black keys. And then for instance, like C, D, E, F. So this is F here, F here, F here. F here, so is the left of three black keys. Not bad. I keep wanting to skip some of my fingers and use the same finger for two different keys, but I think I probably should be using all five of my fingers there, just playing five notes like that, but that will take some practice to get down. So there's a C chord, so I was correct that this was a C power chord before, and then adding the three here, oops, <laughs> makes it a just C major chord, I guess. It is definitely a little tricky to move that pattern around quickly right now. So right now I'm just trying to play some simple chords with the lower octave on my left hand and trying to combine that is a bit tricky right now, <laughs> but it sounds cool. Not bad, not bad with power chords there. I mean, I got the right hand and left hand going at the same time, just had to think quite a bit. <laughs> so now let's see if I can play any really, really basic songs. <laughs> I 
at the time of recording this, it's around the holidays. So let's see if I can learn some simple Christmas music. <laughs> Almost. Usually when I'm practicing guitar, I just spend a long time just making sure I have the muscle memory down. So I think that's probably what I would want to do on piano too. Although with the left hand and right hand in action, I'm not sure if I should focus on just one hand at a time or incorporate them both as soon as possible. But I imagine I'll figure that out over time. <laughs> One thing I think is really cool about playing piano is that you can play the bass as well as the melody at the same time, obviously, and that makes it so you can really do a whole performance on your own. I mean, not at my level, but, but maybe someday. And you can't really do that on guitar unless you're finger picking, so it's cool to be able to just do a whole piece on your own without any accompanying music, and yeah, I think that's pretty cool. <laughs> Let's just quickly try out some of the other sounds this piano has to offer. I don't really know how to control it entirely, but I know there are a bunch of different sounds here. That one sounds cool. I like that one. <laughs> This organ is a lot louder than the other sounds. I feel like I can play some ghost music on this. <laughs> I like that one. <laughs> Sounds pretty ominous. <laughs> oh, there's a chorus. <laughs> that low note sounds just like a demon or something. And this last one here gives me a bass on the low end, I think. Well, now back to just the normal piano sound for now. I like some of them though. I like the organ sounds and some of the string ones are cool as well. So yeah, I'll probably play around with those from time to time, but maybe we'll focus mostly on this, the default piano sound for now. I think I've mastered classical music now. <laughs> okay, so I think that is probably enough of trying to learn piano for today. I have a lot of learning left in front of me, a lot of trying to increase the coordination between my hands, of understanding sheet music, of just learning about the instrument in general, and I have to say I'm pretty excited about it. This was a lot of fun. If you play piano, definitely let me know in the comments what songs you think would be good for a really new beginner to start learning and trying to work on. I always enjoy diving into learning something new, and on that note, I'd like to tell you a bit more about the sponsor of today's video, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people. It's curated specifically for learning, meaning that there are no ads and they're always launching new premium classes so you can stay focused and go wherever your creativity takes you. There are so many different classes on Skillshare that there is really something for everyone no matter what you're looking to learn. There are classes on music and music production, photography, videography, productivity, illustration, and much, much more. And it's less than $10 a month with an annual subscription. Recently, I went through a Skillshare class called Learn How to Mix Music with Young Guru. In this class, he goes through a real life example of mixing a song, starting with the basics, like just organizing the audio tracks in your DAW, and then going to more complicated things like figuring out the different levels for different instruments and figuring out what sort of EQ to apply, and even talks about adding different effects like reverb and compression. I think if you're new to mixing music, no matter what genre you're working in, this class has a lot of really useful tidbits of information that you can 
take and apply to your own future mixing. Overall, I think Skillshare is an awesome way to learn something new. And if you're interested in checking it out for yourself, the first 1,000 of my subscribers to click the link in the video description will get a free trial of premium membership so you can explore your creativity. So I think that is it for today. I had a lot of fun trying out piano for the first time. And yeah, I really appreciate you being here. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.